I have this recipe here and I'm gonna try it. I've never used this recipe before. I have a cup of margarine. I don't have margarine and butter is too expensive. So I'm just going to use sunflower oil because I really like it. I'm gonna try it with it once. Later on, when my other oil arrives in the mail, I'm gonna use the regular vegetable oil, uh, soybean oil next time, but, or maybe even ghee. And butter ones too. So I have a cup of margarine, plant margarine, sugar and egg, then mix in milk. Let's do the margarine, I mean the oil. The sunflower oil, silly me. It's beautiful outdoors now. It's like 83 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll be using this oil I got at the Russian store. They mailed it to me. It arrived just fine. It's sealed. OMG, the brown sugar was outdated in 2014. I bought this expensive sugar because I've never had this one before, so I'm just gonna use this one. It's sealed. And I only need a, th a three quarter cup, so that's three of these. And um, I bought this sugar because I thought I sprinkle it on the pancakes and on, yeah, the pancakes I thought. And so I'm just going to use this. Thank God I have some because I have hardly any castor sugar left. So I'm going to have to use it. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, and gee, that looks delicious. And it smells super delicious. Now comes the egg. One egg. One chicken egg was delivered to us in the mail. And blend it together. I have this milk. I need a quarter cup. We also got it in the mail from Amazon. It already looks so yummy. Mm. Mix it up well. Um, gee, I just have old flour. That's all I have right now, except for the whole wheat. I want to use this. It's hard to get flour these days with the pandemic. That's what it's going to have to do. It smells good. It says one teaspoon of baking powder. Now this flower had some baking powder in it, I think. Well, I'm just learning to cook, I mean bake again. Using one teaspoon of baking powder. I'll be using a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be so tasty. I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon nutmeg now. It looks good. Let's mix it up. Mmm, it's nice and thick now. It's gonna be healthy too. The birds singing. Yay. I probably should have sieved the flour. But it's okay, I... I guess I'm just gonna make something real quick. So all we need now is a half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half cups of quick oats. You can add a half a cup of raisins. I'm not that much of a raisin lover really so I'm not going to add any. Actually I don't even have any I don't think anyway. Oh and gee all I had is a couple of these. That ought to do. Let's mix it up well. Uh, these are the oats I'm using. Bob's Red Mill. Old, organic, old-fashioned rolled oats. Even though it says instant oats, I don't have any. I mean quick oats, it says. I like 
the hardier oats anyway. So if you can eat them and chew them just like this, raw, I guess you can use them for your cookies, your oatmeal cookies, oat cookies. Let's mix it up real good, put them on the baking sheet. And next time I'll try them with different sugar, different flour, and different oats. The second batch, a bit bigger. I was uh, using the recipe out of the Dutch oven cooking book. Pretty neat. I hope you liked my little video. Till next time. Till soon I hope. Bye. We took them out of the oven. And uh, my husband already ate his. We baked them for 15 minutes. Mm. I think they could take a little bit less salt. They're a little chewy with the rolled oats. Hmm. Till soon. Bye.